Hello, I'm Joe Galvin, Chief Research Officer for Vistage Worldwide. Welcome to the Vistage Coaching Spotlight, a video series dedicated to exploring the challenges and opportunities facing CEOs and leaders around the globe. In each episode, we'll be speaking with some of the world's best and brightest executive coaches, seasoned mentors who are on their daily leadership climb with business leaders every day, helping them to make better decisions and become even more effective leaders. Today, we're speaking with Vistage Chair John Savato about the challenges faced by small, mid-sized business CEOs today, and more importantly, what are they doing about it? John chairs multiple Vistage CEO groups in the Dallas area, working directly with over 40 Dallas CEOs on a daily, weekly basis. He has global leadership experience and has held leadership roles in asset-based and private equity financing organizations. Welcome, John. It's a pleasure to have you with us on the CEO Coaching Spotlight. Thank you very much, Joe. It's a pleasure to be here. Well, great. John, you've had some really interesting roles in your career. Uh, you've worked with a lot of leaders. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about your climb, but more importantly, what were some of the things that you learned on your leadership climb? A couple of things I learned is leadership's really difficult. You can read about it and putting it into practice is very different. I've started companies in Canada, United States, Mexico. I've been fortunate to lead uh, companies that were global organizations, uh, large supply chain issues, uh, all the things that are facing our companies today, I've had to deal with on a first person basis. And ultimately, that's allowed me to develop and grow and struggle. And finally, learn that surrounding myself with great people is, is a wonderful way to make it an easier and more interesting journey. Well, John, as a, as a Vistage, as a Vistage chair, you work with, you know, like I said, 30, 40 CEOs on a regular basis. Uh, can you tell us what's top of mind for them right now? What are the causes? What are the causes of their nightmares? And more importantly, what do you see smart CEOs doing about those issues? Yeah, great question. So the causes of the nightmares, inflation, hiring shortages, uh, looking at uh, how do we keep the people that we have? Uh, what is, there's war, there's supply chain disruptions, there's political issues. I think the smartest CEOs, what, what they're learning is, the external is out there and we can't do anything about. It's what can we start to do things about internally? How do, how do I focus on I? How do I start working on the decisions and the leadership issues that I can direct, directly affect so we can start taking on those ideas and challenges and making them into opportunities? So your CEOs have evolved, do you think, from where they were before the pandemic hit? And if so, what are some of the new dynamics of trying to lead organizations in this completely new environment? So uh, it's been really exciting. So starting, I, I launched my first Vistage CEO a couple or group uh, a couple of years ago, and it was the start of the pandemic. It was actually March 18th, 2020. And from that point on, every single CEO that we've worked with has had enormous increases in revenue and profitability for the most part. And these are across completely different industries, so which is exciting. The, the biggest factors I've been facing them is how do we make decisions in unbelievable change? And the velocity of change is, is changing. And so how do we as an organization adapt? And the old ways of leadership, they aren't as effective anymore. So how do we lift the subconscious or the consciousness of our leadership so that we can adapt and uh, and not just survive, but thrive in these new environments. So what are, some, what are some of the new demands or maybe enhanced demands on leaders today uh, as a result of all this? I think the enhanced demand is to look at uh, look in the mirror. Because so we often, uh, as leaders will say, in Vistage, we, we learn to talk about I. So how do I show up? How do I look in the mirror? And, and that's not good enough. It's how do other people see me showing up and, and what are their impressions of what that's like? And then how do we build leadership? Because everything depends on me, the leader. And really we see three kinds of organizations. We see the transactional organization. How do I make the most profit and money possible? Then I see the exponential organizations. How do we deliver something of incredible value to the people that wanna be a part of our organization? And then I see transformational organizations. How do we transform and change the way we deliver value to the industry that we serve? 
And you look at you look at the different organizations. Is there a specific type that's thriving now or struggling? And more importantly, do you see those models as we go forward into what will hopefully become a little bit more stable economic environment of the not too near future? I think many of the uh, post pandemic, the ones that were client touching and serving, and it was particularly in the service industries, they were the hardest hit. Uh, we've seen a lot of adaptability in business models. And so what I also seeing is the healthcare industry is going through really an adaptive change. There's a whole sort of notion of what is work? Is it in person? Is it virtual? Uh, how do we manage that? How do we lead that? And, and I think these aren't going away. And also we always talk about wage increases and pressures and compensation. That's really pretty low on the list in terms of why employees show up or is some, when we look at why do they want to partner with us? Why do they want to grow and develop something with us? So that's really the key foci. And we don't know what's coming. We, we can't see the future, uh, but we can work really today to what we can control and how do we make that successful. Well, John, there's a lot of talk about the impact of inflation, how the rising cost of fuel, the rising cost of employees, the rising cost of workers are affecting things. There's a lot of talk about the supply chain challenges, and these are all outside of our, outside of our, but certainly things that people focus on. Interest rates just went up again. But we also hear of CEOs who are focused on growth, who are thinking about how, as we come through what may be a recession, may not, but it's certainly a deceleration. But as we begin to climb that business cycle again, how do I grow or how do I prepare my organization to grow? Or how do I grow now? Do you see any of that in the folks that you work with? And if so, what are they doing about that? I see that every day. And, and I think the, the question of how do I grow is, should be followed by how do I scale my leadership team? Everything begins with leadership. And once we have that in a, in a great place, which is never easy, then why do people want to be involved with us? Why do we have people and clients who want to work with us? There's a culture and values thing that shows up, which is spoken about a lot until we get into place properly. It's, it's really difficult to grow a firm. Uh, from there, then we have the right seats. So what seats and then what kind of people do we want in those seats? That's really the number one face, issue facing uh, companies. The other thing, companies that grow quickly eat a lot of cash. Right. So how do we fund that growth? That's, that's another big question. Well, John, as you look out and you think about all the, the interactions you have and all the, all the strategy discussions you have, what is it that CEOs are not thinking about? Because there's just so many top of mind topics today. They're not thinking about that. They really need to invest time thinking about. It's interesting. Uh, CEOs will often say how involved they are in the business. What they're not thinking about is how do they get over themselves? How do they become less important in the organization? How do they build a structure that allows it to excel uh, far beyond the limitations that they may be bottlenecking. So how do we get out of our own way so that this organization can take off to new, to new levels and still be a part of it? You know, John, that's a big step you just described for a lot of folks. What, what is there like, what's the first thing you have to do to begin that journey, do you think? First step is look at how much time is being spent in the business versus on the business. And then typically we, take a look at, we want to take 50% of your time back. And that's where I hear that, you know what, John, that's not possible. That's not going to happen. And as we start having those conversations, it's, well, why should that happen? And can you take two weeks, two weeks off consecutively uh, without being a part of the business? No. And as that conversation continues, can you take two months? Can you take, uh, et cetera? That's actually affects the valuation of the firm. It's conversation of, how do I start getting other people who are far better at doing what I probably shouldn't be doing so that we can move to a higher level and I get some more time off. Uh, uh, great concept, John. Uh, any final thoughts before we wrap up here? It's uh, become involved in difficult conversations, become involved with a group that allows you a lot of transparency and how you how you show up and how you lead as a person and as an organization. And uh, there's some great groups out there. Uh, I'm privileged to be a chair with Vistage and I see this every day. So I, there's some wonderful places to be. Well, John, thank you so much for your time, uh, for your attention to the detail, not just of what people are thinking about, but what they're really doing about it. It was really helpful. So thank you very much, John. And thank you for watching the Vistage Coaching Spotlight. If you enjoyed this talk, be sure to share it with colleagues who you think may find it valuable. For more information and guidance on the top issues you're facing as a leader, visit Vistage.com. 
That's www.vistage.com. And thank you for the CEO Coaching Spotlight.